5 seconds to go start we shall now examine the decision in roop singh supra on which practically the whole of the arguments on behalf of the claimants were rested on examining the facts it is found that was a case which related to a claim by a third party in claims by a third party there cannot be much doubt that once the liability of the owner is found the insurance company is liable to indemnify the owner to any defense that may be available to it under section 1492 of the act in case where the liability is satisfied by the insurance company in the first instance it may have recourse to the owner in respect of a claim available in that behalf it may have recourse to the owner in respect of a claim available in that behalf roop singh supra was a case where the insurance company raised the defense that the owner has permitted the vehicle to be driven by a driver who really had no license and the driving license produced by him was a fake one their lordships discussed the position and held ultimately that a defense under section 1492 of the act was available to an insurer when a claim is filed either under section 163a or under section 166 of the act the breach of a policy condition has to be proved to have been committed by the insured for avoiding liability by the insurer mere absence of production of fake or invalid driving license or disqualification of the driver for driving at the relevant time are not in themselves defenses available to the insurer against either the insured or the third party the insurance company to avoid liability must not only establish the available defense raised in the proceeding concerned but must also establish breach on the part of the owner of the vehicle for which the burden of proof would rest with the insurance company it becomes very clear from a perusal of the above mentioned case law of this court that the insurance company in order to avoid liability must not only establish the defense claimed in the proceeding concerned but also establish breach on the part of the owner insured of the vehicle for which the burden of proof would rest with the insurance company in the instant case the respondent company has not produced any evidence on record to prove that the accident occurred on account of the overloading of passengers in the goods carrying vehicle further as it has been held in the case of bn swaroop supra that for the insurer to avoid his liability the breach of the policy must be so fundamental in nature that it brings the contract to an end in the instant case it is undisputed that the accident was in fact caused on account of the rash and negligent driving of the offending vehicle by its driver against whom a criminal case wide fir number 66 of 2010 was registered for the offences referred to supra under the provisions of the ipc stop